Friendly Neighborhood Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get some easy steel and some easy lead, and also some other methods on how to get some junk and other materials. If you're like me and always crafting ammo and making camps, then this is going to be the video for you and a short little guide on how to get some very fast and easy. Very quickly, before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you that have left comments and have liked and subscribed to my channel. Thank you so very much. Even if you've left a negative comment on any of my videos, thank you for taking the time to give me that feedback. Other than that, let's dive right in. First up, we are going to have the Red Rocket Mega Stop, where you can loot this chest as many times as you want. You do have to hop servers each time you loot it, but it does refresh what is inside. I do believe Glitch Unlimited found something similar to this in a different location where you can respawn and collect these each time you spawn in. So go check out his channel and I will leave a link to his awesome channel in the description. So all you have to do is make your way to this chest. You're going to have to lock pick it or you can capture this little workshop and you can open it without lock picking it. Once you get in, all you have to do is collect the contents inside, jump servers, and then you can do it again. Most other chests usually have a reset timer, which will only allow you to get that chest in a certain amount of time. For some reason, this one is bugged and you can collect it as many times as you want. So once you rejoin a different server, all you have to do is go collect the contents of the chesticle. So once you make your way over to the chesticle, do as the same, collect the contents, jump servers, and do it again. There is a couple other spots where you can do this, but not with chests, it's usually with toolboxes. This has been the best chest because you get plans, guns, and all sorts of ammo out of it. I highly recommend this chest just because I have recently found a dragon out of this chest while doing this method. So once you collect it, all you have to do is of course leave, rejoin, do as many times as you want. Next up we have the unlimited U-Minute map glitch where you can use a U-Mine It map as many times as you want to get materials and junk. So go to wherever there is a U-Mine It vending machine, you are going to buy the Prospector's map or the Excavator's map or the Miner's map, and then you are going to place it on the ground. Make sure you do this where no one else is active or else they will probably steal your map. You are going to place it down onto the ground. So once it is on the ground, you are going to look at it activate it so press a or whatever you are on to activate it press no you're going to use either photo mode to get out of it go back into it press a again then you're going to press yes and then take the map it is going to activate the lucky strike quest and then you can actually go back into your inventory and as you can see i still have that map in there then all you have to do is complete the quest by finding where it is in the ground excavate it or dig it up and then you can repeat this as many times as you want for some good nice junk you can do this as many times as you want like i said and this is very worth doing just to collect a junk that you can't acquire very easily Next up, we have a very fast way of getting lead and steel. If you're short on these two, this is for you and it is fast and efficient. You can do this in about less than a minute. All you do is come down to Camden Park here, then you are going to disarm these traps that have tin cans on them and they respawn every time you spawn into the server. Now you do get about 54 lead and about 108 steel for these six collections of cans. This nice little method is very good for collecting lead and steel very quickly. There is a lot of other methods on how to collect lead and steel, but this is a very fast and efficient way to get lead and steel and get a teeny bit of XP. Not that it's worth it, but it's mostly worth it for the lead and steel. And this was very fast. This took me all than less than a, about a minute or about a minute to collect all this. All you have to do is leave the server and then join back. If you do travel away and try to travel back, it does not respond that way. It only responds if you leave the server and jump to a different server. And then as you can see, you get about the 54 lead and 108 still per time you do this. 
Last up here, we are going to be farming a super mutant behemoth at this location, Solomon's Pond, which you can get caps, materials, guns, armor, all sorts of stuff. This is a very, very fast way on how to farm all these materials, junk, and weapons. This is very nice to do and very fast and efficient. He spawns 100% of the time, and if you just make your way down this path, you are going to be seeing him sitting in the water there and then you can quickly kill him. Now, if you are a low level, you might want to avoid this because you might get shit on. So highly recommend that if you come here, be prepared with a powerful weapon to kill this behemoth. And that's it for the video for today. Thank you for watching. Oh, and one last thing, make sure your coworkers and your family know about this. Press the damn subscribe button already.